priority message to all active duty agents. Be aware that Agent Aaron Keener, call sign Vanguard, has had his agent status revoked and is now a priority target. Hello everybody, it's Queenie here and today I'm going to be talking you through the healer role in Iron Horse. But first, we're going to go over the build. Uh, let's start. At the weapons, I use a Famous. I absolutely love the Famous. Um, I use the Famous with Reformation, which headshots grant plus 30% skill repair for 15 seconds. Uh, for my secondary, I swap between the Scorpio and the lefty so i can help the team out by proccing the perfect sledgehammer Hello. on various bosses i also use four piece future initiative two pieces gives you 30 percent repair skills three pieces gives you 15 percent skill haste and 30 percent skill duration with me equipping four pieces, I activate the talent for the future initiative, which increases you and your allies' total weapon damage and skill damage by 15% when at full armor. When you repair an ally, you and all allies within five meters of myself, of you are also repaired for 60% of that amount. On the mask, I have repair skills and I use a skill haste mod to help my chem launcher Greetings, with the cooldowns. I also use the chest piece, as you can see, 20% repair skills and 19% and repair skills as well. I also use the future initiative holster with repair skills and the future initiative knee pads with repair skills rolled onto it. I also use the BTS U gloves to help my team out with the overcharge. It comes with 12% skill haste and 16% repair skills which I still need to op op optimize. Um, talent is transfer overclock, which grants plus 15% hive skill haste per skill tier. And bear in mind, I will be running a six skill tier. Detonating a hive refreshes your skill cooldowns and grants overcharge for 15 seconds. If at skill tier 6, this effect also applies to all allies, so when I, just, when I break my hive, I will give the team an overcharge with all their skills, and if any skills on cooldown, that automatically refreshes the, that skill. Allies receiving this effect are unable to benefit from it again for 120 seconds. And I also use the Alps Summit backpack, which gives me an extra 20% repair skills. I have repair skills and skill haste rolled onto it with a skill haste mod. And I use opportunistic so every time I, I hit an enemy with my shotgun I'm rocking the talent which enables you hit with shotguns and marksman rifles amplifies the damage they take by 10% from all sources for 5 seconds that's why I run the Scorpio and the Lefty. Uh, skills. 
I use the chem launcher and I use the reinforcer chem launcher skill the reinforcer kind of said despise a cloud of green gas what we call it a great massive green cloud uh, that repairs and reinforces armor for anyone inside the green cloud uh, my cooldown is 16.4 seconds I've got a really high alley repair and repair over time this helps the team massively as they heal almost instant second skill I use on my healer build is a restore hive I've got a real refill speed of one second 32 charges range of 13 to 13 to I'm making words up now uh, 13.2 meters uh, duration is quite good the health is awesome and the healing is extremely good when I ask people to make a healer build and give them the build I tell them these numbers don't need to be that high as long as you can heal people that's that's all that counts uh, let's have a look at the mods I have them I use the 10% health mod the 5% healing mod and I use the 5% range mod to give the hive a much more range when it's on the ground technician named Zach Young Hey guys, it's Queenie here, and today I am running for you through them healing and where to play eyes for those of you of guidance. I'm always here, happy to answer your questions. Be a DM me on Discord. I will drop my Discord down in. First thing first, as the team gather up in the room, we will pull the hive out first, then your team will answer, will not answer, I mean jump over the wall, just like that, they'll kill the chunga, a machine gunners, and a few ads. Then we will pull up the left side, we'll place the hive. Yeah, awesome. Go down the door. Bomb has come out of that. Pick it up again as the rush starts spawning here. Put the hive there. It all starts standing. Um, once they're dead, we'll move up again. There's going to be two chungas. That spawn from uh, that door there and that door there. Once they're dead, I'll throw the hive down here. We have flag door. Flag door spawn. Oh, that spawn what just there. And after that's been dealt with, we'll have left door. Is just I won't care. Making sure they stay alive. Like what I do, I try and kill my team half the time. Just because they are picking. Right, lift, um, Lieutenant Gret. You will have the big train up here. We'll drop down the hive here. Uh, some people might want shock traps, we'll play um, in the train after a long trap. We want to have a scanner pulse, which I call out overcharge. They will press the button for the scanner. Um, you'll, once the door open, the shield guys will start to go and you Overcharge. Ah. 
and it helps the guy who's do, doing the regulars not for the sh a little bit longer once gray is dead we'll run through here Room on the way to visor. Right. This is what I do. My personal preference. I put the hive here and it covers the guy panel one and panel two. I always make sure the healer takes three. So the guy is down here and the fields. There are some people where the teams where the team will want to go up to the next one and heal them with them, a hive down the bottom. But it's purely down. Let's get on to healing in the control room. My personal favourite. A friend and um, family guy telling me remember the hive, it's there to heal you. As I do find that I quite a lot but when I do put my mind to it it's quite easy to do but everybody these days do an armor region tank I like to give my team that little bit extra of a buff from the future initiative gear set. Right, control room. I put the hive down about there. You'll have your tank on Alpha or Charlie in all your team runs it. My team runs tank on Alpha. So it's nice and covered. A few rockets from Alpha and Charlie. And it's covered. As we run over to the courts, I'll do as a that's one, two, four, five, and six. So we're nice and healed reading the codes out. Um your weak point it was and it's very slow mechanic. At once you get to a useful capacity, it does take a few minutes. I'm just thinking, oh my god, how much longer? Once that's full, you'll like your tank in for water. Um, When the tank goes in, the healer or the tank will say send water. Yet again, that's down to how your team runs. And once it gets 85 or higher, you're reactive, nice and healed. I tend to do an overcharge at that point while the team gather up in one airlocks. Yet again, it's down to preference, down to your team. Our team's goes to Bravo. And once it, everybody's there, I put the hive there and pop in a lock. Do the next bit. Aqueduct. We run through here, we'll gather up the uh, two we go like everybody. Right. When the doors open, I now jump up here. I've far as I can and that. Heal all the heals. Heals actually. 
all the way down there. Actually, a little bit down on Sniper Alley. Go have a look at Sniper Alley. Sniper Alley is. I've run my. I've actually run my hardcore. And I've almost lost it here. Sniper. Not my favourite part. Right, we've got two Bullet Kings and we've got two people doing the rockets. We'll jump down. Serious and trauma one detected. Valve. Rocket one will go here. Two will go here. And the Bullet King will go here. Rockets will jump. I don't like this one. How much this one? Uh, once the door's open, we run down. Drop the hive near the ladder. Drop the hive. Head up there. Like that. If the Out. Uh, Once the snipers are dead, just carry on healing. The key. Going up to Williams. Have a thirty seconds. I don't like that. I think awful. Healing Williams is right. That's your team on the red leader all out it'll go smooth but if you want to do that wonder off not, not paying attention then it could go south we always start with the healing hive down red just in case after the freebie it freebie can be either yellow or blue and you'll have a dedicated button person do the buttons they will run red there I diagonal yellow we run blue after yellow so now pull out yeah again it depends on whether your team does a red check or doesn't a red check our team doesn't do a red check unless I tell them I want a red check then they'll do it which is very very well rare because I absolutely hate the Diag well I hate it hate it but every time I say I'm gonna be I'm going I'm doing Diag I really are shocked right after color phase I will place the hive here and run round in circles, just healing the team, just uh, as while they're getting the cog sorted, ready to break entrance, I'll come here. Oh and 
down there. I look going to red yellow. I will end there and I'll do the same blue yellow. Even though it's is that five set. I just start a little bit of blue. Once once lab is broken, everybody be on the platform. The only person that should be upstairs is the person running assistant. It's his I mean, it should be the tank, run on multiple platforms, they run on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. And each platform have got different strats. The tank will go up without reading the alphabet and diagnose cogs. Right. The way I shoot cogs is up, I'm gonna die. Down, up, 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 down. But everybody else, that's per personal preference because if you go back, which everything up is up and down is down. Um, I like leaving my hive here due to the fact it covers the chain. So that that's covered, so I can run down red and I'll. I'd right, hear for everybody's getting healed. I believe it comes there. Back and get my hive. I'll go up. I'll place my hive just here. And obviously, you will my water reach. I'll. That. When Williams is on the third turret, the team will call out break it, break it, and that's when you do the overcharge. Uh, and I get this wrong at uh, my team. Kems, still a hive. Still a hive in. Turret. When you. Hive gets to about 20 charges, just down and every single one. If the boss goes invisible and you can't see the turret, you'll have to and around here. And the key you will spawn to person on a few a few bits I've done. Like one, two, one, one or two, he's actually all with the head. You're like, what do we really have to do this again? But that's an only version. As we run down, we can just kill colors. By this time, colors. Run through the form alley. We'll have two has four tags. Maybe three. Two. We run run out here, we don't really need it. Uh, this way. Um, there will be an electric field. If you've got a headhunter, like we're doing our team, a headhunter, break the door, otherwise we shoot the door with our AR. Next is my resolver. Why any? Passport. I 
drive down here. Since my team runs too heavy, we use a headhunter for right rocket and float. The float will break, right locket will kill. As soon as everybody's ready, run out here. There's the hive right here. Whoever's doing right door will dive, get heals, get run over here. The attack. Oh. If you add some left side. Left right. When I do a uh, rocket, my a time healing me. A full ammo one minute, the next second I'll be all. We do we stay here, pull it, do a train across there. Pull it, pull it down. There's and uh, over middle. A hive. Buckets. On oh, here. Nine times out of ten, I will. And have always over goes into over there. Do an overcharge. So I'll be here with everybody. Little overcharge comes. Okay, out there, out, outside, as we we'll walk out. And second phase, we drop the hive down here again. There's no precise place where to put it. I normally try and put it down where the crucible is. So the right person on right doors rather in the hive or just behind. And as the rocket's down again, it's just rinse and repeat. Got the bullet down, run over. Pick my hive up. This time, I'll be gathering around about here. In there. He'll under somebody calls out in and in. And I'll do overcharge again. And as we come up this time, we're gonna have green lasers. It'll drop it the hive again, but as you as you drop your hive, I sometimes get tricked by green lasers. Time, I'll go up the long way around, up in cover, running. Back to the truck. Uh, uh, I will. That's pretty much with the high placements. So I hope you like it. I'll catch you next time.